again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 25th of January, 2019. Posted a number of videos yesterday. A couple of them talked about the new law passed by Governor Andrew Cuomo, which allows healthcare professionals to butcher a baby just prior to its birth. Went ahead and did a little bit of searching. I found an article on routers, and it shows you the opposite ends of the spectrum. Iowa's fetal heartbeat abortion ban ruled unconstitutional. Written by Rich McKay, that's MC capital K-A-Y. Routers, Iowa's fetal heartbeat law, the most restrictive abortion ban in the United States, was declared unconstitutional Tuesday as it violates the Iowa State Constitution, a state judge ruled. Iowa's Republican-controlled legislator passed the restrictions in May of 2018, outlawing the procedure after a fetal heartbeat is detected, often at six weeks and before a woman realizes she is pregnant. In the ruling posted online, District Court Judge Michael Hoopert wrote, quote, it is undisputed that such cardiac activity is detectable well in advance of the fetus becoming viable. A fetus that is viable outside the womb, usually at 24 weeks, is widely considered the threshold in the United States to prohibit an abortion. The district court decision in a victory for supporters of abortion rights but abortion opponents have vowed to take the fight to Iowa's appellate court, the Des Moines Register and other media reported. The legislation is aimed at triggering a challenge to Roe v. Wade, the U.S. Supreme Court 1973 landmark decision, which established that women have a constitutional right to an abortion. Activists on both sides of the issue previously told Reuters. What do you think is going to happen when President Trump replaces Justice Ruth Ginsburg? Hmm? And he puts another conservative judge on the bench. Do you think that Roe versus Wade is going to survive? Because I don't. Iowa State Senator Janet Peterson of Des Moines, the Democrats' leader in the Iowa Senate, praise the ruling, quote, the extreme law should have been overturned because it's restricted the freedom of Iowa women and girls to care for their bodies, and it forced motherhood on them, she told the register. The governor and legislative Republicans should stop attacking women's health care. Here's a whacked out woman saying that it forced motherhood on them. Why does she think that she's here. Hmm? You think that women are here just to cook and clean? Hmm? God put them here to give pleasure to men and to give birth. Without them giving birth, it would all come to an abrupt end, wouldn't it? Folks, Muslims breed like rabbits. They know it's a numbers game. That's a different story. Proponents of the law have expected a long court fight. The ultimate goal, abortion opponents have told multiple media outlets, is to get the case before the U.S. Supreme Court, which has become more conservative under President Trump. Wait till he replaces the sitting justice, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. When the Iowa law was first passed, Republican State Senator Rick Burton of Sioux City told Reuters, quote, We created an opportunity to take a run at Roe v. Wade, 100%. We'll see how this thing unfolds, but as I had said, this most recent ruling, or this passage into law by Governor Andrew Cuomo, who by the way is Catholic, just shows you how screwed up he is and how screwed up that law is.
butchering children right before they're born. And again, what are doctors going to do or healthcare professionals that swore on a Hippocratic Oath? Hmm? Absolutely, totally, and completely insane. What's interesting is the Greeks, way back then, also, in the oath, protected the unborn. You can't make this stuff up, folks, can you? You want to repost this in all your social media accounts. You want to pass it along to your like-minded friends. You want to send a copy to Governor Andrew Cuomo. Thanks for listening.